Hi there guys, my name is Ryan and you can learn making create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see this portrait is looking great but we need to make some changes here and there. So first thing first that we are going to do in this portrait is that we need to click here on the first step and click play wait until it's done so here we have a bunch of layers and the first one is a cleaning layer the second one is a dodge and burn layer where we want to dodge and burn this portrait uh, the other one is a lipstick color if you want to change it and here we have the eyeshadows this has bigger color so we are going to make some changes on the eyeshadows makeup here we have the whiter and brighter which is great uh, for eyes and teeth sharpness and a black and white help layer that helps us to clean and dodge and burn so I'm going to click here that says cleaning layer. I'm going to click here on the spot healing brush tool and make sure that a sample all layers is checked. And I want to zoom in here in the forehead where I want to start uh, cleaning this portrait. So make sure to check all the links down in the description because you will find this RAW file and some other amazing RAW files that I have been using in my previous uh, video tutorials. So link is in the description. Uh, link is in the description as I said you have to join my telegram channel and you will find all the raw files for free also if you want to get this uh, retouching kit actions they are really amazing for example if you are retouching uh, when you are traveling or uh, for example you have uh, just uh, like two to three portraits and you want to retouch them as fast as possible because uh, sometimes uh, the retouchers or the uh, photographers when they go on the vacations they usually take some portrait because if you are a photographer uh, the photography is like a great hobby and you always carry a camera with yourself and for example you shoot like uh, some amazing portraits of a model or anything else and you want to retouch them as as quick as possible uh, this retouching actions the retouching kit 2024 is really amazing and uh, let's just keep working so here's before and after only with a clean and now that we are done with the cleaning it's time for the dodge and burn so i'm gonna click here on the dodge i'm gonna turn on the black and white help player and I'm going to go here to the window, arrange and click here that says new window for the name of the file. And I'm going to click again to the window, arrange and choose two of vertical. So in the left window, I'm going to leave it only for the zoom out. So I'm just going to make it smaller, just like this. And in the right window, I'm going to work as a zoom in. I'm going to zoom in a, just a little more and with a white brush and 100% of opacity, sorry, and just 1% of the flow, I'm gonna start dodging this portrait. So make sure that you uh, have an eye on the left one because everything that we do in the right window, it'll be shown in the left window too, just like this. So let's just take a look at before and after. And as you can see, it's starting to look better than it was before. So make sure to dodge and burn a portrait as good as possible because when you are done with a dodge and burn, sometimes we don't want to uh, dodge the portrait with frequency separation. So make sure to dodge, to dodge and burn as good as possible. So here we have a before and after. Let me just check before and after in the zoom out. As you can see, it's looking really good. And now that we are done with a dodge, it's time for the burn. So turn on again the black and white player, click on the burn. Uh, the same settings for the brush, 100% of opacity and just 1% of the flow. I'm just gonna paint where I want to start burning this portrait. So here's a before and after only of the dodge and burn. As you can see, 
and I think that is looking okay. Now I'm gonna remove the left window, just click there on X and just remove it. So here's the before and after of cleaning and the dodge and burn. And now I'm gonna click here on the lipstick color and I'm just gonna paint with the 100% opposite and just 100% flow of the brush and just paint it over there on the lips. And as you can see, the lipstick color is changing into the red one because I left it uh, the a red color. For example, uh, when we paint, we can see uh, everything that we are painting there because sometimes uh, when you leave a different color, you will not see the before and after things just like this, as you can see. And I think that is looking okay. So here we have a before and after, but uh, I think that with a brush is looking okay too. And for example, if you want to change the color of the lipstick, you can double click here and just uh, take a look of the other colors. But I think that I'm going to stick with the red one. And here we have everything else that we have painted in the layer mask. So I'm just going to paint it just a little more inside the lips because as you can see, uh, it's not showing that good. So you can just uh, go out. For example, if you want to... Uh, see that on the layer mask, on the, the only where we have painted on the layer mask, you can click Alt keyboard and just click here on the layer mask. And as you can see, we have uh, we are seeing only the layer mask where we have painted. And if you want to go out, just click Alt keyboard again and click here on that layer mask. Now, if you uh, want to lower the opacity of the lipstick, you can click here on the opacity and and just reduce the opacity of this lipstick color which is I think that 100% uh, was better but uh, we have to lower it just a little because it was looking fake and zoom in just double click here and here we have the highlights and shadows of this uh, layer mask and I'm gonna double uh, sorry as you can see this one is for the highlights and when we move the slider just like this, as you can see, the highlights are showing. So we want to uh, slide this into the left until we see the highlights, as you can see. But we have to keep it here because uh, the color is going out. So I'm just going to click Alt keyboard and divide this one and slide this into the left just a little more, as you can see. And this one is for the shadows, as you can see, when we move the slider into the right, uh, they will fade away, so I'm gonna keep it just like this and now check a before and after and I think that they are looking really good so I'm gonna uh, lower the opacity just a little more and I think that 50% is okay now click here on the eyeshadows that says pick a color this one is great for the makeup around the eyes for example uh, I'm gonna go with a red color too I'm gonna zoom in and just paint it over there just like this but as you can see with 100% of the brush is kind of too much so I'm gonna go with only 10% and just paint it over there make sure to do the same process in both of the sides just like that now you can zoom out and check a before and after which is looking great but 100% uh usually 100% is kind of too much so i think that i'm going to go with 50% and i think that 50% is okay now that we are done with the eyeshadows as you can see we have the whiter and brighter eyes and teeth as i said before is great for both of them so just paint inside of the eyes just like that now take a look before and after and as you can see 100% is kind of too much so I think that I'm gonna go with 40% and I think it's okay for example if you want to paint inside the teeth you can do it again and uh, with 40% as we did with the eyes now check it before and after and I think it's okay but right now I'm gonna leave the teeth as they were because I don't I don't think that they need uh, some brightness or make them whiter because they are there. And now that we are done with whiter and brighter eyes and teeth, it's time for the sharpness. As you can see, there is nothing uh, showing on the sharpness because the layer mask is black, which we have to 
paint with a white brush 100% flow and 100% of opacity and just paint it where you want to make the sharpness just like this paint it over there where we want to now check it before and after but i think that i'm going to reduce it by 25 percent because sometimes uh, some portrait don't, doesn't need that sharpness so here's the before and after of everything that we've done so far now click here and hold shift keyboard click on the background right click and just merge the layers because now it's time for the second step now click here on the second step and just click play wait until it's done the second step is the frequency separation so here we have the low or the color and we have the high or the texture so i'm going to work on the low first with a mixer brush so the right settings for the mixer brush right now i have the wet by 10 percent load by 45 mix by 45 flow by uh, 33 sorry and just uh, mix the skin tones with the highlights and everything else that you want into a portrait or this portrait if you have downloaded and you are following my step-by-step -step process which is the best way if you want to learn the retouch as you can see i am mixing the skin tones all over the portrait now check it before and after you can turn on the high now you can check the before and after what you've done so far into this portrait and we want to keep working just a little more and if you think that portrait is uh, looking too flat for example like we did right now you can double click here and again we have to divide the highlights with the shadows because we want to leave the highlights as they were just hold alt a keyboard and slide this into the left or maybe both of them and slide this into the left just a little more now click ok or click ok now as you can see we have a before and after which is looking really great but we need to make the highlights less like we did before just like this one now check a before and after again and i think they're looking okay and now that we are done with the color it's time for the high because we want to make uh, some cleaning just a little more on the texture so in the high we work with a clone sam tool make sure that 100 percent of the opacity 100 percent flow and the sample is current layer we want to zoom in and with a smaller brush of the clone sam tool you have to click alt keyboard hold it and just click to copy and just paint to paste just like this you have to copy paste as near as possible because for example if you copy here and you paste it here as you can see the texture it will not be the same so make sure to copy paste as near as possible and this uh, process is really great for cleaning for example you can do it on the beginning of the retouching it's really great for uh, portrait cleaning i usually use this method because uh, it's more professional but uh, sometimes when we are uh, as i said in the beginning when we want to retouch some portrait like too quick uh, we go with that process of the uh, as it was a spotting brush tool hint brush tool patch tool and everything else that is there for the cleaning but uh, this method is for professionals so make sure to ch uh, to follow my step by step process because this is how you can learn how to retouch like a pro now check a before and after of this entire process and i think that is looking really good now check the before and after only of the frequency separation which is looking okay i think and i'm gonna merge merge both of them right click click here on the merging layers now that we are done with the first one and the second step it's time for the third step which is elegance look and click play wait until it's done as you can see there is nothing be shown because the layer mask is black so we have to switch it into the white by clicking control and delete so here we have a before and after which is looking good but not too much because as you can see this effect is like too much so i'm just i'm gonna double click here again and in the underlying layer as you can see uh, when we move the uh, this one for example this one is for the darker parts so i'm just gonna click alt 
keyboard and slide this to the right until we see the the effect is gone in the darker parts so here we have a before and after and i think that is looking really good but 100 uh, percent is kind of too much so i'm gonna lower it by 75 maybe now check it before and after and i think that is looking really good but again 100 percent uh, 75 is kind of too much so i'm gonna go by 60 percent now check it before and after again zoom in and i think that is looking great you can just click here and merge these layers into a single one again and save the portrait and post it in your social media so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and their touching actions let me know if i'm understandable or not let me know if you learned something from me or not and see you guys in the next one peace